In this uh, animation designer example, we have a 2D sketch that we derive from the layout. So we look at in the sheets of different uh, layout that uh, we're able to pull in. And then from the, from the sketch uh, layout, we combine them and then we uh, take them into the uh, modeling environment. So let's go ahead and activate, activate animation designer. We want to first create the rigid group. We're going to change our selection to lasso. That makes it easier to select a bunch of entities. And then once we do that, we want to deselect some of the center ones because they belong to the uh, other uh, geometry. So now we're going to go ahead and start just selecting, um, connecting rod one and connecting rod two, pistons and pistons, um, then uh, these type of uh, identifications through selections and then uh, naming them. And um, once that is done, we'll be able to analyze, see if we have all of our selection correctly. Um, so now we're in the process of completing our second connecting rod. And then let's go ahead, while we're down here, just go ahead and start with our second piston and uh, drag onto that. And uh, that makes a nice and clean, quick selection of that, defining what that is. And then go pick our uh, first piston. And once that is done, that gives us uh, uh, um, defining what that is. And then now we want to go ahead and select our uh, crankshaft. Crankshaft is likewise with all the different uh, um, geometries. We do not want to select the center circle because that wouldn't be the engine housing. And then now once that is done, the last part is the engine housing. And then once that is selected, and then we see that we have all the different rigid group identified by uh, selecting that in the animation navigator. Now let's go ahead and move some of the rigid group, but we see that we don't have any joints defined. So let's go ahead and define the joints. So in this case, we want to go ahead and just use as a slider. Um, so in the slider joint, and then we define what vector it's going to go in. And uh, once we select a vector, and then we uh, are good with that one. Likewise, between piston and housing, define the vector. Now I want to go ahead and select some of the uh, um, other type of uh, joints. Um, in this case, between pistons and the crankshaft. We want to go ahead and change our 3D and be able to select the, um, uh, the proper uh, locations for each one of those uh, different um, joint locations. And uh, when that is done, let's go ahead and select the uh, um, crankshaft against the housing. When we're done with that, we see that all that is defined in the uh, slider and revolute joints are all Defined. But as we crank on this, we see that everything is moving. There's no fix. So we want to go back into our joint, define a fix. So because we want our housing, uh, engine housing to be fixed. Now let's go ahead and move that. So we see that everything is done uh, accordingly. We can turn on the color display, turn on uh, move rigid group. We see that everything is moved accordingly as well. So now let's go ahead and add a posi position motor. We want to go ahead and start with the uh, using the angle. We want to define an end time. And then once that is done, we want to add a speed. And we want to go ahead and add an acceleration and deceleration. What that does is that will give us, instead of just go directly to 1000 revolution, we want to kind of slowly crank up. And then uh, at some point, the time it's going to sl start slowing down. And then it will come to a uh, complete stop. And now other things that we can add to, we can add measurements. We can add a, a linear measurement. Um, and so we see that the linear measurement is there. And we can also add another angular measurement. The angular measurement is also added. Now we can display those measurements and, um, and make sure that uh, all information is done correctly. We see that we can extend our toolbars to see we can add all of uh, add some more information to that. Um, so 